Hey everyone from Disney's Hollywood Studios. I am here today to do something that I have not done at a Disney park in just about three years. What is that? Let's go inside and I'll tell you. Hello. Alright, so it looks like it's just having some problems with your ticket. Okay, we finally made it inside Hollywood Studios, but not without any issues. So let's go find a spot and we'll talk about it. Okay, so we found a place to come and talk about what just happened. So today is April 18th and it is the first day that annual pass holders are able to get into the parks after 2 p.m without needing a park reservation. So in the beginning of the video, when I said I'm gonna do something I haven't done in years, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna to come to Disney World without any park pass reservation, which has been like the bane of the existence for Disney fans ever since 2020. So I decide I'm gonna to come to Hollywood Studios today and test this out, no park reservation needed, and we were just gonna come and enjoy a day here at Hollywood Studios. So I scan my pass over at the turnstile and it turns blue. And then the cast member says, you need to go over to guest relations. There's some sort of an issue with your annual pass. Now, my annual pass isn't close to expiring. We have like another like six months. So I don't know what the issue could have been. So I went over to guest relations and there was just a little bit of a bug. So if you guys are newer to our channel, you might not know that years ago, both Alex and I worked for Disney. We were cast members. We haven't been cast members in a long, long time, but for some reason, it's still linked to our My Disney Experience account. So when we went to go scan in, it was reading my pass, not as my annual pass, but as my old main entrance pass, and was saying that I was a cast member that couldn't get into the park. So just a heads up, if you are a annual pass holder that used to be a cast member at any time, because we did the college program like 10 years ago, Disney is saying that they're having a global IT issue and it is registering you via your main gate from when you were a cast member. So I don't know what's going on. They had no idea when this was gonna be fixed. All I can say is that if this happens every time we go into the parks for like the next couple of weeks that's going to be like really really annoying so i just wanted to share that with you guys obviously disney was not ready for the annual pass holders after two not needing a park reservation because they told me that there were like dozens and dozens of people that this happened to today so just a heads up if you're coming here probably within the next couple of days this might happen to you if you fall into that boat. Just wanted to share that. And that is the main reason we decided to come out today was to test out the system and see if it's working, if there were any issues. It turns out there are. So in typical Disney IT fashion, they were not ready for this today. So we're just gonna spend a little bit of time here at Hollywood Studios, walk around, get on some rides, see what we can do. So the wait times are pretty low today, which is why I chose Hollywood Studios. So we're gonna start off our day at Star Tours, a we'll walk on at the moment. Now that Galaxy's Edge exists, I feel like Star Tours is just so underappreciated. But I mean, this queue is just so cool. You have the giant AT-AT -AT or AT-AT. Did you agree to? Hey, you droids on Transport 1401, get back to work. Now what you've done. We'll lose our jobs for sure. And this is truly a straight walk-on. Stormtroopers will be deactivated for sure. Hold it right there, Captain. Uh, no, I'm not actually the Captain. We're looking for this rebel spy. Have you seen them? No one on this transport could possibly be a spy. Oh dear. This is the speeder we're looking for. What is them? Kills are part two. Hang on, everyone. safely delivered to the coordinates I'm transmitting to your R2 unit. This is our most desperate hour. Help me start tours. You're my only hope. Her uh, only hope. What do you mean we'll be making a slight detour? I trust our colleague is safe. Safe? Have you any idea what we've been through? We're in your debt, Captain. Captain? I'm glad to be of service. Well, we're all in the Rebel Alliance now. I always enjoy going on Star Tours. I think even still to this day, it's right up there with Rise of the Resistance. There's just something about Star Tours that's like so nostalgic and I always enjoy going on it. Speaking of Star Tours, last week over at Star Wars Celebration, they announced that new scenes are gonna be coming to Star Tours, I believe next year at here at Walt Disney World as well as Disneyland. So that's exciting. It's a ride that is like constantly being refreshed. You never know what scene you're gonna get and that's why I love it so much. So we came back into Galaxy's Edge because the wait time for Smuggler's Run is really, really low. But I just wanted to come over here and call out that this entrance right here 
If you're looking to ever meet the Mandalorian and Grogu, this is where they come out. They do not have set times, they are not in the app. It's just, yeah, kind of have to be here. So if you are looking for where to meet Mandalorian, right before you head into the market, hang a left, and then they come out right over here. And I can't remember if the last time we were in Galaxy's Edge we showed these or not, but just wanted to show you that there are some new plushes. There's Ahsoka Tano right there, and then there is the Mandalorian. And look at this view of Batu and the Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Runs, currently a 20 minute standby wait, and the single rider's open, so that's a double win. Let's go do it. All right, I am excited to do this. It has been a minute since we did Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Of course, we're gonna get stuck with Engineer. That's what happens if you're just by yourself and you don't have a large enough party, but maybe we'll get lucky, who knows. It's always so awesome to come in here. It is so cool. It feels like you stepped right into the movie. We don't do this right enough. I miss this queue. Here we go. It's time to board the Millennium Falcon. I have to fix everything. I'm the engineer. You're braver than I thought. You will be intercepting a first order trading shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you play the back. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you are on that precious cargo. Now get the move on and know that I have complete faith in you. But I am coming along with you just in case. I did it! I hit all the flashing buttons. That's a damage to fix. I know! There we go, there we go. I'm in my bed. I'm power up the seat. Look at how I'm going to have the team go taxi out. You see, just as I promised my friend, I know that the resistance has been dead. Maybe it's something for Hondo. Who is right? Oh my gosh, look how much damage. <laughs> it's sparking like crazy over here. People like flew with, nice kids. Not the best drivers though. And while we're here in Galaxy's Edge, I'm passing by Rise of the Resistance. It's posted at a 45 minute wait time, but there is no crowd that's outside. And usually that's an indicator that the line is long. So I think we are gonna test this out. We'll see if it's less than 45 minutes. Commander 9 Nam, please report back to IGS Cockpit. Crews, thank you for joining the cause. A Cobra Resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Black Leader. We're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. Give me in. What do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We have company. First order TIE fighters. We rock. We rock. We're caught in a tractor beam. It's pulling us in. Don't worry. I'm coming back for you. Stay strong. Cargo vessel TR-141. I identify yourselves. Prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order Resistance scum. It's always so cool coming in here. You really can't get a sense of like how big it is until you actually come in for yourself. Look at all the stormtroopers. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> a probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, those are the prisoners. <laughs> Find an alternate route. Who picked these two droids anyway? Detention will breach. Transmit must seen of LED.
does not look good. Try to find another way down to the escape pods. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! On your arm! All personnel to their station! The prisoners have escaped! How brave! But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run! times that we've gone on it there's always been almost a walk up and always keep in mind if the line is not outside that's a pretty good indication that the weight's going to be lower than what's posted so before we head out we stopped in the shops over at the front of the park and it looks like they have a brand new star wars collection the women of the universe they have this pretty cool sweatshirt here with all the different women characters they even have some art prints i like this style that's actually pretty neat there's some bags. Ooh, this bag is cool. Look at that. There's Leia and Rey, Ahsoka. They have this mug over here as well with all the different characters on it. And on the inside, it says, the Force is with us. They have a new Leia vinyl figure. Looks like this is like a cropped sweatshirt. For $140, they have a couple of the Black Series helmets. This is the Darth Vader helmet and then there is Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian. And as we wrap up this video, there's just one more thing I wanted to tell you about the park hopping after two. If you still are interested in trying for the virtual queue for either Tron or Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, you will still need to have a park reservation for that park. Since those drops happen prior to 2 p.m., you will not be able to try for a virtual queue unless you have a reservation for that park. So let's just say you're trying to ride Tron and you're coming here on your vacation. You still need a Magic Kingdom reservation in order to even attempt to join a virtual queue. And I actually just spoke with guest relations about that. I kind of already knew that that was most likely going to be the way that it went, but I just wanted to double confirm. So just wanted to share that. Overall, I had a fun day here at Hollywood Studios. I got to go on three rides. It kind of turned out to be like a Star Wars day and it really wasn't meant to be, but they had the shortest wait times in the park. And I can't believe we got to walk on Rise of the Resistance. Posted 45 minutes, 
we walked right on. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down below so you don't miss out on all of our future videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.